Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on IST QB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 7 and looking at the next topic that is 7.2 Verifying the Automated Test Suite. Now, When you talk about test suites there are several considerations just like the other components of the automation environment. We do have to consider a lot of tests or check prior to executions. So generally when you're trying to uh, automate the test suites, a verification has to be done well before the execution takes place. Sometimes we may expect a completeness, consistency, or a correct behavior issues related to the test suites. So different kinds of verification checks can be applied to make sure the automated test suite is up and running at the given time when it is supposed to require to run that and determining what it is supposed to actually determine. So regression test suites, similar to that, we do have different test suites which are being created. So there are a number of steps that can be taken to verify the automated test suite, which includes executing test script with known pass and fail results, checking the test suite, verifying new tests that focus on new features of the framework, considering the repeatability of the test, and checking that there are enough verification points in the automated test suites as well. So we'll be talking in more detail about these points to understand in detail what exactly it means and understand the same in more detail. To begin with, we have executing test script with the known pass and fail results. Just like similarly when we spoke about the same in the previous tutorial, the 7.1, we also understood the same point there that there is a possibility when you convert the manual test cases or the tasks which you're already using, the automation solution which you're already using and you're trying to convert the test cases to a new solution, it is possible that the test cases which you're passing earlier is now failing or the one which was supposed to fail in the negative scenario is passing. So in either of the cases, it is possible that something would have gone wrong. So you need to take those tests separately out and see that is that the compatibility of the automation solution or was there a change with respect to the SUT, maybe the configuration, maybe the environment, any such factor which might be interrupting that test case. Because a different tests have different kind of protocols being used for the execution and we need to validate them before utilizing them in the real cycle. Also, checking the test suite is equally important. Check the test suite for completeness, like test cases have all the expected result, all data present, and correct versions with the framework and the SUT. Because these kind of tests basically have a lot of connectivity or external resources dependency. The test data might be important from an XML file or Excel file, or the uh, framework library functions must have been stored in an external environment which will be called to the automation framework which you are using. So it is very common that things may go wrong here and there and might not meet the expected criteria to do the job. So it is really important for you to understand the aspects and make sure that everything is working as a part of it. Verifying new tests that focus on new features of the framework. The first time a new feature of the task is actually being used in the test case, it should be verified and monitored closely to ensure the feature is working correctly. And we're trying about implementing a new feature with respect to the maintenance testing. Say you're trying to do some updates and you have a new impact on the existing part. So it is possible that the new test cases which you include as a part of regression test suite or just executing the new piece of test as well may have certain issues involved. So you need to make sure that it works or fits into the existing frameworks or regression suite exactly the way it is supposed to fit. At the end, we are talking about considering the repeatability of the test as well. When you say considering the repeatability of the test, it is more important to understand when you try to repeat a test, it must be consistent in deriving the result. Every time when you run a test, if it is passing on the first iteration, it must pass on all the relevant or subsequent iterations as well. If there is a flaw here, that the test which was passing for several durations or several iterations, but now it is failing all of a sudden when switching to a different automation tool or maybe automating it probably may have some kind of issues related to that. So you need to just pick up that test, put it separately, drill that down and understand in more detail that what could have gone wrong and try to fix that before incorporating them with respect to this. At the end, of course, we spoke about one of the parameters as verification points when you add several 
checkpoints or verification points during your automation executions it is really important to understand the checkpoint is still readable or the verification point works at the point where it is supposed to work it is equally important that the expected and actual values which are being captured during the runtime is able to do the so or not because the checkpoints if gives failed result maybe your entire run is also failed so it's really important to make sure that the verification steps and the checkpoints are working as it is supposed to do so that's all from this particular chapter team we were talking about verifying the tasks in more detail with respect to different components and understanding the aspects so that's all from this particular chapter we'll be getting back to you with the sample questions on this chapter in the next tutorial should you have anything else beyond this feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning